Hey guys, Martika here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful rose gold plate chargers. Now, I initially saw this done on Your House of Home TV. Her name is Tony, and she created some beautiful antique silver chargers, and you can find the link to that video in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I have a four-place setting, so I went to my local Dollar Tree and chose four pizza pans, and then in that same area where I found those, I chose four of the silver plates. So whatever number of settings you have, that's how many you choose. And then from my local Walmart, I chose this rose gold rustoleum metallic paint. And it is a spray paint, so be sure to spray in a well ventilated area. I just sprayed the front sides of my pizza pans. And you can do both sides, but allow enough drying times. And then I sprayed the front sides of my silver plates and allow definitely enough time to dry and then after they were dry as you can see they created a beautiful beautiful finish so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this now what you're gonna need is some super glue from your local Dollar Tree or whatever glue of your choice but this glue works very well and then you're gonna need four bags of these large gems from your local Dollar Tree and in each bag you're not, probably not going to use them all up but you want to make sure to get four and to make sure that you have enough so what we're going to do is we are going to place a dot of glue directly onto the plate on the inside edge and we're going to place a gem right on top of the glue and I kind of press down a little bit to make sure that each of them adhere and then not only do I press down but I make sure that it's right at the edge of the inside because we don't want any gaps. Another thing you want to make sure that they are snug right together. You don't want any gaps in between the two of them so just place them right next to each other and you continue this process all the way around the pizza plan the pizza plan excuse me to create this design now we're going to go ahead and speed this process up because I think that you get the concept at this point and you just keep going around until you're all finished Now that we're at the end for your last gem, you want to make sure that you kind of eyeball that to get either a larger one or a smaller one because it can be kind of tricky if there's a space in between. But in order to fix that, all you need to do is place your gem down and if there is a space, just kind of start turning all of the gems. They're not completely dry at this point, so you do have time to turn them around and make sure that they're all nice and snug up against each other and up against the edge of the pan. And as you can see, this created a beautiful design. Now we're going to take our plate and turn it over. We're going to use that same glue and I'm just going to apply a generous amount of glue dots around the plate and some in the center also and I'll show you that in just a moment so just make sure that we have enough glue to adhere to the pizza pan itself and you're going to just set that down and make sure that you get that centered you're going to have to kind of eyeball it but just get it centered and press down and hold that down for a few seconds to kind of begin the sealing process of the plate, the plate and the pan itself excuse me i keep getting tongue tied today but you see what's going on here and after you're done with that you have created a beautiful masterpiece for your table and you want to let these dry at least for about 24 hours to make sure that everything is nice and dry. Let me tell you, these also make beautiful, beautiful Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or whatever. They don't just have to be for your home and very inexpensive to make. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.